Yeah. And I was like, you're very lucky. And, and the white belts don't yet have, if they don't do that specific training, um, they don't yet have the situa situation awareness. And or, or the younger jiu-jitsu competitors don't yet have that. I mean, if you've been jiu-jitsu, even if you don't train it, by the time you're a high blue belt, you know, tuck your neck, you know what you need to do because you've just been there for so many years. Okay, so, so have next Jayden, one um, in, in Jayden from Delaney Mahala. is currently in half god top. From and Valhalla. we have Renee van der Berg from Tap Out Academy. And this is the boys 15 to 17 final, the under 60 kilogram division. Jaden fighting super hard to get that mount. And Renee fighting super hard to keep him in half guard bottom. And guys, just, just for, for those of you jiu-jitsu who really enjoy the art of jiu-jitsu, the half guard for me has been one of the most critical positions in this whole competition. So what happened is, Jaden had the, the key lock on, right? Same thing, um, so, ref's decision. Again, ref's decision. However, the coaches also need to understand that we're trying to keep everybody safe. So mm. if the ref makes the decision, his hand was not behind his head. Absolutely. His hand was going under in the key lock position. And it was in danger. So yep. there was a possibility that his shoulder might have gone. So the ref's making the decision. The, the coaches can be upset. They, but they can must be upset. understand. Absolutely. We don't care that you're up. 